very often when you are working with conditional statements, um, you'll have to be very careful about how the, the wording of the problem that you're trying to solve with the conditional statements. So what I've set up here is a word problem uh, and we're going to solve it. So it says, you're competing against someone in a gem collecting competition. Prompt the user for their name, uh, the name of their competitor. Uh, prompt the user for the number of gems collected by their competitor. So we're going to mention them by name. Prompt the user for how many gems they collected. And then we're going to display one of these following things. Either you collected more gems or you collected the same number of gems as whoever it is. Uh, or so-and-so collected more gems than we did. And then if any player collected uh, more than 100 gems, we will say that they're disqualified. And then if any player collected at least 25 gems, say that they've moved on to the next round. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to program this. Uh, so this one will have file name word problem. So I'm going to be referring often to the, uh, the description of that word problem. Um, so what variables do we need from this? This is one of the components of uh, taking a word problem and then turning it into a computer program. So we need the name of the competitor. So, uh, so we'll do a string. Uh, we'll uh, just abbreviate it as comp for competitor. Competitor, there we go. So that is going to be comp. We need the amount of gems collected. Gems. So now we have to break this down though. So it's going to be user gems and then int comp gems because we need to collect both of those. Um, now there's two benchmarks that we care about is 125. So uh, const int, uh, we'll go disqualification as dq, um, is going to be 100. Now, uh, the other one is uh, moving on to the next round. We'll call that one advance. So const int advance is going to be 25. Okay, so we've got all of our variables here. Now we're ready to put this together. So what is the first thing that the program says to do? Prompt the user for the name of their competitor. All right. So for that one, we will see out what is the uh, name of your competitor. competitor. Okay, and then we'll use uh, a get line for this because potentially it has more than one name, cn, uh, comma, comp, which is the name for this. Um, and then the next thing that we have to do, so we've prompted, prompt the user for how many gems collected by the competitor. So see out how many gems did, and then we'll put in their name, comp, find. And then for this, we'll see in, see in uh, comp gems. So we'll just verify that this is working. Um, so we'll run the program. Okay, what is the name of your competitor? Um, let's go with uh, Harold, um, and his last name will also be Harold. And now it says, how many gems did Harold Harold find? Three, perfect, okay. So now we need to prompt the user for how many gems they found. So, move this down, see out how many gems did you find? See in, uh, this will be user gems. And now we're ready to put our responses. So you can see like between the parts of the code, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a break. So this one will be a prompt for values. Uh, this one will, this part will be display results. 
So under there, we're going to display our results. So let's see what the first one. Okay, so we've got to pick between these three options. Either you collected more gems, or the same number, or your competitor collected more gems than you did. Okay, so here's how this is going to work. We need an if statement. And the first one is, let's take a look. You collected more gems. Uh, so this would be more than the, collect, the, uh, the other player. So in this case, this should be if user gems is larger than uh, comp gems, uh, then we will uh, put our display. So um, I realize there's only going to be one line of output, but I like putting curly braces in. That way all my if statements look the same no matter whether I've got one line or multiple lines. So you collected more gems, that's what we'll say. See out, you collected more uh, gems. Okay, now we'll put the second condition here, uh, conditional statement, you collected the same number as so-and-so, we're gonna list their name there. So if user gems, equals, remember to put to double equal sign. It doesn't matter if you put spacing on either. I'm just putting here to make it easier to read. Comp gems. And typically, if you're doing multiple comparisons with the same values, don't flop them back and forth. Keep one on one side and one on the other side for all of your comparisons. So see out, you collected the same amount as comp. Okay, and then the last scenario here is, uh, and I'm going to do a little copy and paste and edit this, and I'm going to switch the order of the sign here. So now user gems is going to be less than comp gems. So here we're going to put comp, we're going to put their name, collected more gems. Done. So if I run this, what is the name of your uh, competitor? Uh, I'll go with Harold Harold. Uh, and we'll say 10 and we found eight. So here, Harold Harold collected more gems, which is perfect. Okay. So um, when we use the term more in uh, one of the phrases, um, it refers to a comparison that doesn't have an equal sign. However, more doesn't have to always be in the same direction. So if I wanted to, I could keep this one pointing to the right, but I would have had to flop the, uh, I would have had to have comp gems greater than user gems. So more doesn't necessarily mean one direction over another. It means that there's a difference between them. Uh, and then whichever one is more should show up on the side with a large part of, the, um, of that little angle thing. Um, and then equals the same as, remember, needs double equal sign. Okay, so now if any player collected more than 100 gems, they're disqualified. So... I'll move down a couple because it's kind of a like a, a different uh, section. So if user gems is larger than a hundred, I wouldn't put equals here because it says more than. So it wouldn't cut out. You wouldn't get disqualified if you collected exactly a hundred here. Only more than a hundred. So I'm going to leave this off. So I'm going to see out, um, you are uh, disqualified. I guess I'm really not giving a good reason here. I'm just going to say that, but it keeps the line of code shorter. Now, if comp gems is larger than 100, we were going to say that comp is disqualified okay 
Now the last scenario is if anyone has at least 25 gems, they move on to the next round. Oh, you know what? I just realized, yeah, I've got my constant here. So this should be here instead of the number 100. So if you're larger than the disqualification, so this would be really handy if the disqualification benchmark actually changed the following year. You would just change it in this one line of code and then it would have an effect on both of these. So now if user gems is larger than advance, now this isn't quite right because this means more than, but look at what I have written here. It says if any player has at least 25. So if you have 25, you pass, but if you have more than 25, you also pass. So this is a larger than or equals to advance. See out, you move on to the next round. And then see out, oh, nope, sorry. I gotta put the other condition here. If comp gems is larger than advance, then comp moves on to the next round. Oh, angle brackets here. So let's see the resulting code here uh, and its, uh, its effect. So what is the name of your competitor? How many uh, did they find? We'll say 65. How many gems did you find? Uh, we'll put in um, four. And we'll, it'll say that they collected more and moves on to the next round. Now there's one problem with this program that isn't ideal and we're, we're going to learn how to fix this in a future program. Is that if we put in 250, says Harold Harold collected more gems. Harold Harold is disqualified and you move on to the next round, Harold Harold moves on to the next round. So obviously that you wouldn't have uh, the, your competitor move on to the next round if they're also disqualified. So that's something that we're going to fix uh, in the next program.